Olá, meu nome é Frederico e eu sou responsável pelo processo de seleção de alunos internacionais na Kettering University, que fica localizada no estado de Michigan, nos Estados Unidos. É, eu sou brasileiro, moro já nos Estados Unidos há muito tempo, é, eu mesmo fiz faculdade nos Estados Unidos, então estou aqui como prova de que se eu consigo, todo mundo consegue. Vou falar um pouco da minha faculdade, um pouco do estado, mas uma vez que vocês vão para lá para poder estudar inglês, vou trocar um pouco a língua e já começar a praticar agora, então, tá bom? So, the state of Michigan is located in the northern side of the United States. It's actually the eighth most populous state in the state. You may have never heard of Michigan, or you may have heard a few things about Michigan, but it's actually in the map much more. One of the cool things that we always do in Michigan, so if you ask somebody there, is where in Michigan are you located? You're gonna see somebody doing something like this. And if you look in a map, there's your homework. Look in a map and see why I'm using my hand to explain why Michigan is like that. And the state kind of looks like this, except that there's another peninsula here too. So Detroit is the largest city in Michigan. It's located about here. Flint is located about there. It's about an hour from Detroit. The location is actually very urban. Um, from Detroit all the way to Flint, um, you're not really going to feel like you are in the middle of nowhere because the area is very urban, the area is very industrial. I'll give you some examples of things that you actually might have that are actually from Michigan and never thought about it. Um, for example, if your household has a car that is a Chevrolet, a Ford, a Chrysler, something like that, actually now Fiat as well, um, you will be actually having a representation from Michigan right in your garage. The car was actually started right there by Ford in Michigan and we keep that tradition alive um, all the way to today. Some other cool things that you might not think about it, but actually companies that come from Michigan, Kellogg's, so maybe if you have cereal in the morning, there you go, you have Michigan to thank for that. So it's a very um, known state in the, in the United States. Um, and although, again, people don't usually go to visit there, the opportunities are many. You go from urban, from the type of things that you are used to, maybe shopping, doing things like that, all the way from the very uh, private, very beautiful areas um, with lots of trees. So if you've never experienced the autumn in the United States, you should definitely come to Michigan at least once in your lifetime and experience there. It's probably the most beautiful season and I can tell you as again another Brazilian that is my favorite season of the, of the United States is in there. So I have a lot of fun and sometimes just driving around and looking at trees. It sounds like the most boring activity you would ever see but it is actually beautiful and it's something that I do it all the time and I send pictures back home and everybody's jealous about that. So, But it's a, a great place for you to go and study and get your career started. Kettering is a private, small university, very specialized, very unique. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, and you're going to see for yourself why that's so. Um, being a small university, you're going to get access to just about every resource you need in order to succeed. You're going to get people to remember you. You're going to get me walking on the hallways and stopping you and asking you how classes are going. I promise I don't stalk you too much, I don't bother you all the time, but whenever you need something, I'm there. So it's a great thing for you to take advantage of that, take advantage of classes that are very small, 15, 20 students with a full-time professor with a degree that is actually the highest thing that they can possibly achieve in their fields. But they're going to know your name, they're going to know where you're from, they're going to be interested about your story, they're going to be there to really share what what you know what they know and what they how they can possibly pass that on so you can be successful one day as well um, how about laboratories those are things that are very important and those are things that you will have access from your first year at Kettering right away we don't believe in people watching anybody do something you have to learn by doing it yourself so most popular majors and actually the only majors that we have are something, if you're not familiar, I'll teach you one thing. STEM, S-T-E-M. S is for science, T for technology, E for engineering, M is for mathematics. 
those are the areas that Cattery specializes. We don't have many majors, but what we do, we do really well. Um, I'm always the first to tell you that rankings are never going to be the reason why you should ever go to a university. However, it is a good thing for you to understand when you're talking about an unfamiliar school to understand where that school is placed and so you can really understand that just because you don't know about that school, it doesn't mean that the school is not good. We're ranked number one for industrial engineering in the, in the United States. We're ranked number seven for mechanical engineering in the United States. We're also ranked in the top 20 best engineering schools in the U.S. So, now, at Kettering, aside from you going to labs, going to do things, doing undergraduate research, we take a step further on something called the experiential learning. When you go to Kettering, you're going to do something that is called the cooperative education. Every single student, 100% of them, will do the cooperative education at Kettering. But we shorten that, we call it co-op. What co-op is, it's kind of like an internship, but it's much more in-depth than that. So, on your first three months of Kettering, you're going to be taking classes, full-time classes, just like you would in any other university. Now, on that point, you're going to have somebody help you select a company in your area of education that you're interested in working at. And you're going to apply and get a job at that company. Now, the other three months, you're going to be actually just working on that company full-time. Then from that point you come back to Kettering and you take classes again. So you will be alternating in between periods of three months of full-time classes and three months of full-time work experience in your area of study. So I always tell people and I joke, if you're studying mechanical engineering, you most likely will not be co-oping at McDonald's. You're going to be co-oping at a place that actually has mechanical engineering needs. So you're going to be starting your career from all day one that you come to Kettering. You start this co-op program on your first year and you end all the way on your last. So we'll do some math again, more practice for you that is wanting to become future engineers. If you study four and a half years and you have alternating periods between three months on and three months off, you're going to end up with two years of full-time work experience in your area of education. This is besides earning a Bachelor's of Science degree in the area that you ended up choosing to major in. So, now, if that is not good enough, if not just getting practice, getting to do what you want to do right from your first day, it's not, that's not good enough, all the co-op is paid. So, you're going to be making money while you're going to college. So, I'll give you an example. The minimum salary in the United States per hour is about $7.60. Kettering students average on their first year of education, they're averaging $13.50 per hour while they're going to, while they're actually on their co-op. So by the time you actually progress through your work, you're going to even increase that salary. I would say a student can make anywhere between six and seven thousand to all the way up to fifteen sixteen thousand dollars per year while they're going to college this will help a lot about upsetting the cost of living that you want to do or if you want to travel if you want to use that money obviously i always tell students that's your money to administer the way you want if you love shopping and you want to buy it all in shoes i'm not going to be the one that tells you not to i'm sure your family will hate you for that but you can certainly do that if you wanted to Otherwise, you can administer your money to pay for your cost of living and even save some money to help you have to have some money while you're going back to school. So that's a very rewarding experience. And I always do a little joke and I you know, ask people, if you ride a bicycle, you didn't learn how to ride a bicycle by reading a book. You actually learned how to ride a bicycle by riding one. Somebody got out there and they taught you how to ride a bicycle while you are on the bicycle. It's the same thing with the co-op, is if riding a bicycle by actually riding one makes you a better rider, why would you become a, a mechanical engineer and never practice what you are learning? That's the best way to learn. So this is what Kettering stands out and that's what we believe. 
all the way from the first time that Kettering, actually from the founding year that Kettering started, we were actually founded by General Motors and all their idea was to send their team throughout the education in order to become leaders in the industry and they were required to study for three months and work for three months. That is still tr true today, almost a hundred years later, although we're actually an independent university at this point, so you don't have to only work at GM. You can work anywhere in the country, you can find co-ops that you want. At this point is actually a really good time because we have more co-op jobs availability than we actually have students to place them. So students at this point are getting pretty choosy about where they're going to work and where they want to do. But to us, is the best way to learn is to complement that. And when you're back in school, you can be involved in many activities. We have several different clubs that you can join. You can start your own. You're going to learn, meet a lot of people when you're in college, and we want you to do that. But we also want to assure you that your career starts from day one, and we are pretty confident by the time you're done, not only you're going to know what you learn at Kettering so well that but you're also going to be ready to enter the job market which is another reason why about 98 percent of our students are already hired or chosen and been accepted to a master's or a PhD program that they want to by the time they're graduating so we know that we're forming leaders in the industry we are looking for people that can be leaders that want to do that people that want to start doing their passion right from the beginning. So if that is something that interests you, I encourage you to contact me. I can share you a much more detailed experience about catering if you want. I can tell you about our popular majors, different things that you can be involved in. I'll tell you, and I will work with you throughout the application process. I don't want you to do it alone. That's what I'm here for. Why not just use me that way? So. My email address is fsilva at Kettering, it's K-E-T-T-E-R-I-N-G dot E-D-U. So write me an email, you can go to our website which is www.kettering.edu, you're going to find my Skype account, you can always Skype with me, I don't know, do something mail send a pigeon with a note, I don't know. Whatever you do, just make sure that you are in contact with me and that's what I'm here for and I will help you throughout the whole process. Thank you so much and I hope to talk to you soon.